Welcome to January and the 2014 Bellin Corporate Health Challenge. I'm Nurse Jessie. I'm a Bellin Health Coach and Wellness Consultant. Join me as we embark on this journey toward health and vitality. This month, we will explore how we can refuel your body, recharge your mind, and rejuvenate your spirit. I want you to take two minutes, listen to what we have to say in this video, and begin to examine your own health and wellness journey. A patient came to me once for wellness coaching, and she stated that her life up to this point was like a train that was zooming past her. She wasn't in control of that train. She wasn't even aboard the train. In a moment, you will see words scrolling down your screen. These are words that are all basic human needs. What I want you to do is examine your emotional reactions to those words. So did you notice any unmet needs in your life? Did certain words trigger your curiosity as to are you being creative in your life? Do you have laughter or joy or are you really lacking in that area? Defining that and really spelling that out for yourself is where your true journey begins. We must live with intent in order to get to where we want to go. I believe that wellness is a choice. It's a decision to step towards wellness and maximum quality of life. Now take a moment to picture what your well day would look like. Given your current circumstances so nothing changes, your job is still there, your routine is still there, but what does thriving versus surviving look like for you in that day? You know, how do you cope with those stressors in a healthy manner? Have you seen it done? Have you seen it modeled? Because we can't change or rearrange your life for you, but we can change how you react to that. So many times we try to segment our lives. We try to pick out one problem area and go and fix it. Take weight loss, for example. Let's say a person is overweight um, and they eat out of emotional needs. That's their coping mechanism. So if they're lonely, they'll eat. If they're sad or bored, they'll eat. And or if they're happy, they'll eat. That's their coping mechanism. So every year, New Year's Eve comes and they resolve to lose weight. What would happen if this year they decided instead of restricting calories and exercising as their top two goals, that they're really going to discover how they can enhance um, their relationships or their people skills? So they decide, I'm going to sign up for a book club because I really need that socialization. Or they might decide, I'm going to pick one or two old friends to reconnect with and build up those relationships. We are complex individuals, unique individuals, and our goals need to reflect that. As Plato said, the part can never be well unless the whole is well. Perhaps you have an irreversible health condition or a lot of weight to lose. You might even find yourself in debt or have many damaged relationships that need mending. It is important, however, that you accept yourself right now. Now that you've identified some areas of interest in your basic human needs that maybe weren't being met and you'd like to see more of in your life, you can create this vision for the next year or the next few years in your life of what you want to see more of. But the important part in getting here is accepting yourself where you are right now and letting go of any guilt associated with your past journey. Let your journey begin today. All right, let's take some time to review some resources that you can use as tools to refuel your body, recharge your mind, and rejuvenate your spirit. Refuel your body. In order to have the energy you need, you need to fuel your body and mind with high quality fuel. So besides packing on extra pounds, processed foods can often dampen our mood, decrease our energy, and make us crave more dead foods. So instead, choose foods that are rich in color, 
and high in nutrients to fuel your body and mind. Recharge your mind. Once you've found areas that you have an interest in enhancing, take the time to write out tangible goals. Remember to review the handouts provided by your site coordinator each week as a guide. We also encourage discussion on our Bell and Corporate Health Challenge Facebook page. Rejuvenate your spirit. Oftentimes neglected in the goal setting phase, it is important that you take time to fill up your bucket. This will better enable you to provide for the ones that you love and to maximize your fulfillment in life. You can utilize the ideas that we have provided for you, but I really do encourage you to take the time and be creative on what rejuvenates your spirit. Now it's your time. It's time to stop that train that's just whizzing by you, otherwise known as your life, and hop aboard and take the controls. Are you ready to commit to you? Take the step, fill out your commitment form, turn in your I've done it slip to your site coordinator. Then post your commitment to yourself in a visible place that you can see and reflect on daily. And together, we can live healthy and live well.